Cheque, tá cheio com o Prius. <risos> Welcome to my channel. If you never know, now you know it's your girl sincerely, Zo. So from the title of the video, you already know, we're going to be doing a get to know me tag. I chose a couple of random questions off of the internet and I decided, hey, for my new subscribers and supporters who don't really know me from, you know, social media and from childhood or in real life, you get to know some general stuff about me, yeah? Before we get into this video, I'd love, love, love if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. May I give you five seconds to do that right now? I'm done? Me too. Alright, if you see me looking down from time to time or most of the video, it's because I'm reading the questions from my laptop and it's below the phone. Alright, what's your full name? What does your name mean? Are you named after anyone? So my name is Zosha, obviously. <laughs> McGregor, for those who think it matters. My name means wisdom. And am I named after anyone? Not to my knowledge, no. Where are you from? Where were you born? And where did you grow up? So I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. That's where I was born. But I grew up in Grand Cayman, the Cayman Islands, with my mom and my little sister and my aunt. My whole life, I've always been back and forth between Cayman and Jamaica, but over the last 10 years, I was living in Jamaica, and now I am back in Cayman. What is one thing that you've never revealed to your parents? So if I never reveal it to my parents, I'll come reveal it to Uno, just so. Come now, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? My mother never wanted a boy, so she always had girl names, but we can't tell her so she said she did not go name me Oprah. Oprah. Nothing wrong with Oprah, you know, but Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest accomplishment? Honestly, to be here, to have life and have breath, that is it right now. Is it me? Everything else is just. Who's your favorite person in the world? That would definitely be my little sister Zora. Everybody know this. What is your favorite food? My favorite food are for pizza. You can time me with that anytime, anywhere. Pizza. Bring me all the pizza. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? That easy. Grape nut. Yeah. Me all. Fight me. Square up. <laughs> um, what's your favorite music genre? Honestly, I can't pick one. I listen to almost everything. I can't listen to heavy metal, punk rock, that screaming, blaring stuff. And I'm probably going to get dragged for this, but I can't really listen to gospel. And when I say gospel, I mean specifically like big choirs that are really loud. It's not that I don't like listening to it. It actually quite literally gives me a migraine if I'm listening to it for too long. So church on a Sunday never really too fun if the choir did kind of be. Uh, what is your favorite quote above all be true to yourself if you cannot put your heart in it take yourself out of it what is your favorite way to pass the time i'm not even gonna lie because this is my honest tube like the new renee would say i like to smoke marijuana in my past time <laughs> what is your all-time favorite tone or city and why so in 2016 and 17, I went on tour to Europe and we stayed in Arnhem, Clarenbeck, Netherlands. Hands down, to me, one of the most beautiful places in the world, one of the cleanest places in the world. And it did just agree with me. I'm gonna have a home there, check me back in a few years, yeah? Everything about it, honestly, just the people that I came across in that specific area, the country life, the weather, it is for me, okay? What is your most embarrassing moment? That would definitely be the time where I danced with Jay Holiday. <laughs> if you don't want a story time on how I ended up dancing with Jay Holiday, and if you actually want to see the video, comment down below, right? <laughs> what is your most used stu swear word i can't say that you know skip what is your star sign them say it was in duo to victory but i'm a gemini sun gemini moon i won't give you my rising i was born on june 18th so do what you will with that what is the name of your first pet so technically my first first pet was a fish a chinese firefighter fish and i think i called it nemo i could be wrong in my adult age and my adult life my first pet was a dog a labrador a rottweiler mixed her name is kush 
What scares you about aging? Not being able to accomplish what I have set for myself in life before reaching a certain age, I guess. But there are certain things that you definitely want to do before you actually start to age. How difficult is it for you to be honest, even when your words may be hurtful or unpopular? I want to say like, it's not too difficult, it's just that I have trouble with anxiety, so my anxiety may force me to hold on to it a little bit longer before I say it. How difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize? I'm not even gonna lie, it's only very difficult because me as a girl will believe in a closure even though closure is on me and it's not owed to anyone. <laughs> but yeah, that's very difficult for me to forgive someone who has not apologized for what they have done. But you know, they said forgiveness is for self and not for the other person and it will set you free, like true. So that's something I'm definitely working on. <laughs> How far away from your birthplace do you live now? A 45 minute plane ride away. So if you're in Jamaica and you want to come visit Cayman, jump on a plane and come, it's a 45 minute plane ride. How has your birth order and the characteristics of your siblings affect you now? <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. What did you say? How many countries have you been to? Cayman, Cayman Brack, Antigua, Turks and Caicos, Barbados, Switzerland, Netherlands, Belgium, Spain, US. I could be missing out. Anything from me I miss out, i put it on the screen. <laughs> the last question I have here is, what is the hardest part of your job? For me and what I do, entertainment or in the music industry overall, it's very hard. Um, to remain level-headed, to remain true to yourself and what it is you want to do. It's very hard to remain strong because the industry I'm in is not an easy one and you get a whole heap of fight out and you get a whole heap of something, but we persevere and we push through regardless. Yeah guys, so that's all the questions I have for you now. I will be doing a q and A. I'm gonna leave a link for you down below and you can send all of your questions there so that the next time I do a q and A, it's all nice and spicy and sweet. Hold that sound. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye guys.